by the end of the story, you have the confidence to create a polished makeup look that will take you to that special date or function. Okay, so usually I use this as my primer, Vaseline, and I prefer this particular one because it's not perfumed, it doesn't have any other ingredients, it's purely petroleum gel. It a good foundation um, to create a barrier between uh, the rest of uh, makeup and your skin. That's exactly what Vaseline does for me. I start by brushing my eyebrows to the direction I want it to be. Let's get a point here. I love using short strokes like this. Then I go up to the up there, right up here. Then bring that up to this corner. So this creates a uh, look. I'm trying to create a frame work. At this point, whatever mistakes you make, it's okay. Just trying to create a frame work, and then another point from right here. Then it with this one. Let's look at here, and then come right down here and take it up to this corner. This uh, pencil is tacky, so even if my skin is moisturized, it's it's just okay. If it was a very dry pencil, then I would have to apply some bit of powder because a dry canvas would be better for a very dry pencil. So I'm going to just fill in from this area. Basically, what I'm targeting is my hairs, my eyebrows. I want to increase that intensity. So you realize my eyebrows are sparse. Could I see a few eyebrow hairs? <laughs> so I'm reaching the skin somehow, not so much. So this could be a technique for you if you have few eyebrow hairs. So in front here, I'm going to just go lightly. Uh, like I said, I'm interested in the eyebrow hairs specifically. You also know, note that the eyebrow pencil that I'm using is not uh, the same color as my eyebrows. So you may want to use uh, an eyebrow pencil that blends with your eyebrows to get a more realistic output. And then try to clean up this area. So this is Glow Makeup Foundation that I'm using. It's a matte foundation. Concealer Glow Makeup, the name is uh, erased. And the concealer is so, what do I say, it's so thick that blending comes a little difficult. So what I've done is I've mixed a little bit of, uh, actually the concealer is about two shades uh, lighter than the foundation. So what I've done is mixed with the foundation. So I think it will give me about one shade lighter than the foundation. So I'm using this to apply the concealer and clean up my eyebrow. To define it and start from here. I just love using the stroke motion. I'm going to do the same up right here. Yeah, so this is about what I'm going for. Because I want to blend that line and my blender is moist. Makes it easy to and it helps it blend faster, easier. So I bring it up to the eyes right here. Be very careful slowly.
So sometimes I kind of go past that line like that to create that seamless finish. Apply foundation right here. I've moist my blender. I'll link a video in the description box of how I moist my blender. So I'm going to just dab like that. So with a sponge, you're able to build that coverage by simply pressing it into your skin. And that will also control the foundation level, giving you an even natural finish. Moisting your blender makes it very easy to give you a more seamless finish. It's light. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use this. It's really pigmented, so I'm going to use uh, this. So because of that pigmentation, it's going to give me uh, something as though I've used uh, a pen and this tool also has that pointed kind of thing that would uh, be able to create that. So I usually love using strokes, short strokes. This would help if you have problems with uh, using a liquid. So I'm going to just uh, put some like that, then dust some. That from right here. So you want to go slightly lower. Actually, when you come right down here, because I intend to do this to the corners of my eyes, it becomes easier to get that wing like that. And also this corner. So after that, I'm going to just use this uh, brush to blend. And then also this area in a circular motion. So I'm going to use concealer as highlighter, what I had left, and it will refine that line. I'm going to use this powder to set the concealer. So I just press. You see this area right here? That line usually becomes pronounced as you age. You don't want to add depth, you want to conceal it with your concealer and setting powder. I usually use this to set the rest of the, 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 the face that is not highlighted. It's just good to set your foundation so it stays throughout, in place throughout that day and uh, I'm just gaming. <laughs> I don't know if I just get. So I don't have a contour stick, I'm going to just use this uh, bronze powder to contour. Just that area. So like and also below here. Right there. I'm going to do the same the other side. I'm using this as my blush. If you have a warm undertone, orange, pink, if you have a cool undertone, purple, but if you don't care, I mean, some people go with both colors. Let me just dab it there, just above the area that I 
uh, yeah, for some reason I love doing my eyelashes like this with eyes closed it gives Then blend. Okay. Finish with a setting spray to keep the makeup in place all day. Okay, I hope you found this makeup tutorial very easy to learn what works best for you. Always remember to start with a good skincare routine to enhance a smooth cover. Stay tuned for an everyday simple makeup. But before that, in our next video, we shall be tapering and doing our shango. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.